I noticed these no starch press books about a year ago and um, they they're really good um, I got this book Python crash course um, about six months or so ago and uh, I'll take you through it uh, I think it's a very good way of learning Python uh, so here we are. It starts as all these books do with the basics. So we have um, variables and simple data types, lists, working with lists, if statements, dictionaries, user input and while loops, functions, classes, files and exceptions. So the way this book's split up is you have the um, the fundamentals of Python. So um, all the things you need. I mean, and it even includes, you know, object-oriented programming. Um, so it, it covers everything you need to know. And then we have the these projects. So the first project is called Alien Invasion. Um, and then we have a data visualization project, which is really good. Uh, and then we have web applications. Um, so let's have a look at the contents in detail here. We've got the getting started. Well, that's it as well. This book covers Python 2 and Python 3, which is really handy uh, because, as you know, if you've done any Python programming, Python's moving to Python 3, but everything really is still done in Python 2. So to have both in one book is excellent. Um, and then it talks about Python on various different operating systems. So uh, it's, uh, you know, with whatever system you're on, it's covered here. Uh, so that's really handy. And then we look here, this is the variables and simple data types. Uh, and, um, you know, I won't go through it all. You, you probably get the idea. It talks about numbers, it talks about comments. Uh, lists and working with lists so it looks at looping through lists and indentation and um, what else have we got here yeah, and all the, these exercises are very good I tell you it's probably better rather than going through the the table of contents to have a look at a chapter so if we go for example chapter four working with lists that would be handy wouldn't it so here we have how it's laid out so we start here with um, examples of how to create a list and then how to iterate through a list uh, and then here we have a closer look at looping and and what they do with lists here they do with everything um, as they as they go as they cover each topic they go through in this sort of detail so you start off with something basic and then you gradually build it up into something more complex so if you can see here the grayed out text is the text that's already being completed and then the one in black is the new is the new bit that they've added um, and so you go through to the end um, and you get something you know a lot more complex uh, here so you get something a lot more complex than what you started with uh, and then there are these boxes where you, you it gives you uh, tasks to do and if we go to uh, the section on classes you know to have a book that takes you from nothing to object-oriented programming using Python I think is really pretty good um, and classes is, are explained really well here um, if we just have a quick look at how it's done um, and and so uh, if you want to learn it's probably worth getting this book just for the classes alone uh, I would say, and you know, and using the rest of the stuff as a reference. Um, so that's that's the basics, and then you get. Uh, let's go to the page where where we have. Yeah. So this, if we're in the project section, and this is the data visualization project. Uh, and if I remember rightly, this also uses classes. So we start with simple plotting, um, and then we build up from simple plotting to more complex plotting and it tells you a lot of the um, commands that are useful uh, when you're plotting and then here we go so 
we're doing a random walk now, uh, plotting a random walk, and they create a random walk class, and it, they talk you through how to do that, uh, and that's all very instructive. And then, you know, this is the plot we end up with, having done the random walk. Um, so, you know, uh, I would say that if you're interested in learning Python, um, here we've got histograms here, and I remember this chapter actually being extremely useful. Um, if you're interested in learning Python, uh, then this would be a very good book to get. Um, oh, I didn't show you there. If you're if you're interest sort of lies in web apps for Python. There's a good section on creating code for web apps um, somewhere in here. Uh, I think, yeah. There we are, web apps. So, um, uh, using Django. So, you know, it depends obviously what you want to get out of your Python use, but it sort of covers every, most things that you might want. So, there it is. Uh, I hope that's been of use to you. If it has, please do subscribe. And uh, if you want to buy a copy of this book, as always, you can do so using the link in the description, which is an affiliate link. Uh, so that will be helpful to me if this has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Please think about subscribing and I will see you next time.